Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing well, I hope you're having a good time playing your guitar. I want to teach you a really cool um, kind of Spanish guitar sound that I use a lot myself. It's based around an E to F kind of idea and it's also based on heavy metal music. So let me play for you for a sec and then I'll teach you how you can play like this as well. Something like that, that's the kind of idea we're going to go for today. And before I start as well, I'll tell you that the tabs for today's lesson will be on Patreon. So that's the place to go if you'd like a tab, but I'll try and explain it as well as I can. So an E chord, we use this a lot in, uh, in my style of playing and the style of playing that I like to share with you here. And the other chord is simply that E chord moved up, one fret. Some people call it the flamenco F, or the lazy F whatever you want to call it, it's literally just that E chord with that one fret. So they're the two chords that I was playing around with, but the interesting stuff obviously was happening in between the chords. There's two main ways of doing this, one slightly more metal than the other. The metal way is with everything to be down picked. In heavy metal guitar, there's a real, uh, real uh, push to have guitarists always playing using down strokes. It's believed in metal that that creates a thicker, stronger tone. I spent most of my younger years always playing with down strokes in that metal style. As time's passed, I've started to also believe though there's a great merit to playing also using up strokes. But for now, we'll start with the down strokes. So I was playing a scale along the A string and in between each note of the scale or before each note of the scale I was down picking twice on the low E string so it's dun dun so before every note we're gonna go dun dun hopefully I've explained that so if I say for example on the A string 7 A what I actually mean is 0 0 7 0 0 A when I tell you the melodic notes on the A string I said if I say seven, I really mean low E twice, then seven. If I say five, I mean low E twice and then five. So that's our basic pattern is that double. Dun, dun, da, dun, dun, da. So let's keep that in mind. Hopefully you understood that. And we'll start to make some melodic shapes. So the, the notes that I used were basically seven, eight, 11, 12. Let's start with that. Come back 14, 12, 11, 8. And in between, I was just playing those chords. That was 7, 5, 8, 5, 7. my lessons I've never really tried to teach you anything note for note I've tried to give you the concept or the idea of what I'm doing so here the idea of what I'm doing the seventh fret of the A string that's an E note that's our kind of home bass low E string and then an A note and the scale I'm playing is the E Phrygian dominant scale I know that sounds scary sometimes I call it the E Spanish scale it's simply going if I go up from this seventh fret seventh fret E eight fret F, 11 G sharp, 12 A, 14 B, and we can chuck in the 15 C. So 15, 14, 12, 11, 8, 7, and we're back at our, back at our root note. And if I was going down from the seventh fret on the A string, seven, five, three, two, and you could do zero as well. 
And remember, everything's got the two low E strings in between. And I'm really just uh, moving up and down that scale or around those notes of that scale with that two open strings in between. And of course, I was playing those chords. At the end of each lick, we let it ring out. helps you a little bit. Um, I find that quite an interesting method of playing and I do it all the time so I'll leave that with you. In the uh, description here on YouTube I can put the scale notes, that's easy enough to do. For the tab you'll have to come over to Patreon and on Patreon I'll also put what I call a deep dive where I'll demonstrate this technique in much more detail and we'll talk about it on a bit more of an advanced level for people who are interested in that. Thank you for watching and good luck practicing.